Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the QCompiler class to implement autocomplete feature with PyQt5. You can use the QCompiler class to provide autocompletion in any Qt widget, such as Qlang edit widget or combo box widget. And to demonstrate how to use the QCompiler class, so here I have a very simple application. On the top, I have a Qlang edit widget. On the bottom, I have a Qtext edit widget. If I type something in my Qlang edit widget, so for example, if I type hello, next time if I type hello again, oops, hello, my Qlang edit widget is going to remember what I type. So here I can select hello. Now if I type something else like uh, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, if I type letter M, it's going to give me a list of items uh, start with letter M. Now if I type magic, and if I type letter M again, and it's going to show me Microsoft and magic. So that's basically the concept of auto completion feature. And that's the, and that's the feature that we're going to build in this uh, exercise. Now let me close this window. So I'm going to import the libraries first. From the PyQt5.qt widgets module, I'll import the Q application, Q widgets, Q feedbox layout, Q text edit, uh, Q line edit class. And I forgot the Q completer uh, class. So complete. From the Qt GUI module, I'm going to input a Q standard item class and the Q standard item model class. Uh, it should mean import a Q font class as well. Here I'm going to create my application class. So I'll name this class app demo. I'll pass the Q widget class as the parent class. Next, I'm going to construct my application instance. And followed by, I will create my app demo instance. I'll name the instance demo is equals to app demo. And here I'll do demo.show. So first I'm going to resize my window. And I'll set my uh, application window size to let's do 1200 by 800. Next, I'll create a font style. So I'll take the Q font class. I'm going to set my font name to open since. I'll set the font size to 12. And right here, I'll create my uh, main layout. So I'm going to use the Q vertical box layout as my main layout. And at the end, I'll set the layout first. All right, now here I'm going to create my input field. I'll name this object self.input. This equals to Qline edit. I'll set the input uh, height to 50. So set fix uh, height. And I'll, I'll provide a value of 50. I also set the font style. So set fonts. And I'll provide the font object. And lastly, I need to add this widget to my main layout. So add widgets and self dot input. So from the input object dot editing finish and I want to connect to a, to a method. I don't have the method created yet. But basically uh, this event is going to fire every time when you type something in the uh, self.input uh, widget. I'll create a method in a little bit. But for now I want to create my Q standard item model instance first. So here I'll name the, the object self dot self dot model is equals to Q standard item model. 
I also create my uh, queue compiler instance. So compiler is equals to queue compiler and followed by we need to provide the model uh, object. And we'll link our complete object to our parent class. And here we need to basically provide the self input object uh, with the compiler object. Here what you want to do is you want to uh, reference the set compiler method and you want to provide the compiler uh, object. So the reason why we need to create a uh, queue standard item model object is because when you type something, you want to store uh, all those uh, text somewhere. Since we're not going to create a database or text file to store all the text that we just enter, and we're going to store everything in memory. And that's why we need to use the queue standard item model to store all the text that uh, we entered. And here we're going to uh, create our view. So the view is going to be a queue text edit uh, widget. And I'll name the, the view self.console. And again, I'll set the font style with the uh, font object. And I'll add this widget to my main layout object. Now let's look at <clears throat> now let's take a look at what the application looks like. So here's our input field. And if I type hello, and nothing's happening. So uh, if I type Microsoft, and nothing's happening. Now let me close this window. Now what we need to do is we need to link this editing finish event to a method. So here let me create the the method. And I'll, I'll name this method add entry. We're going to capture the text from the self.input uh, object dot text. And we'll store the, the text value to a, uh, to an object called entry item. And we're going to clear the entry every time when we add a new entry. So self.input dot clear. And we want to add the entry to our console. So we'll append the, the entry item. Here I'm going to insert if statement. And I'm going to say that, uh, if the entry item is not found in our model database. So self dot model dot found items. And I'll provide the entry item. So if the entry item is not found, they want to add the entry item to our model. It should be Q standard item. And followed by want to provide the entry item uh, object. And that's it. Now let me go back. So I'll uncomment this line. And I'll provide the add entry method. So self dot add entry. And that's it. Now if I launch my application, so I'll type hello. I'll type hello again. The queue computer class is going to show me uh, any text that in the self.model database that match to my criteria. So here I can uh, either choose hello again or I can type something else. So I can type uh, Microsoft Google and uh, hello to now if I type H again, and that's going to show me hello and hello to. So that's everything I'm going to show you in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.